America did pay reparations for slavery, but it didn't go to the enslaved children of Africa that was brought over here and worked and toiled in this land for 246 years of free labor. Now the reparations went to the slave owners. Yes, the slave owners got a reparation. Let's talk about that because when they always trying to tell you that you don't deserve a reparation, if anybody didn't deserve a reparation, it was the slave owners. See, no matter what they do, they were lazy. They didn't want to do their own work. And then after the people leave off the cotton fields, they want to cry and act like they can't do for themselves. The government going to come in and actually reward slave owners. Now back in 1862, Abraham Lincoln signed the bill emancipating, you know, our people. And many of us didn't really find out, especially to down here into June 19, 1865 here in Galveston. That's something that we celebrate down here all the time in Juneteenth. But he wanted to ease the pain of those slave owners. So he created the District of Columbia Emancipation Act and paid those loyal to the union up to $300 for every enslaved person. Understand that. Now, if you translate that money into modern standards, I had a found a calculator that was all the way up to 2018, paid $7,439 per slave. What this slave owner got back then, a reparation for his torment, rape, pillaging, free labor. He was paid because our ancestors were free. My great, great grandmother and grandfathers were on the slave fields in Louisiana. So that means that those slave owners could have got compensated as well if they were loyal to the union. Once Lincoln put this act in, you had about a thousand claims come to the federal government from slave owners for claiming up to 3000 slaves. Now one slave owner claimed the most for 69 slaves. At that time period valued at $18,000. If you flip that to today's terms, it comes out to $447,000. So getting close to half a million dollars for 69 slaves at that time period. So they was getting all kinds of reparations and these slave owners were paid and nothing was said. The African who has been released and now here in the U S at that time period, we were not citizens at all. This is way before the Dred Scott case or whatever. So we were still toiling in this land by ourselves, trying to do for ourselves 